This is Twit. All righty. Our next question comes in from someone named Jason, who I don't think is a Jason that I know, but uh, hello to this Jason. Uh, Jason says, I have a question about cloud storage. Currently, I have files saved across multiple cloud storage companies, iDrive, Google Drive, and iCloud. I would like to consolidate from three different solutions down to one. Of the three I currently use, do you have a suggestion as to which of the three would be the one you would choose? Also, is there an easy way to transfer files from one cloud storage to the other without having to download back locally and transfer back to the cloud. Jason. Oh. So <laughs> here's the thing. Um, things have improved over time when it comes to data portability, thanks to mostly thanks to the EU. Uh, the European Union has done a great job of making big tech companies make their data more portable, make your data more portable. So as you kind of build up data in these different silos, those silos suddenly have, how do we put it? Hoses that run between them. And uh, you can kind of plug in your information that is required to authenticate and then move that data over to another system. You're probably familiar with Google Takeout, right? Um, Google Takeout is the sort of personal way of taking your data and moving it to another platform. But there are also data portability tools that are available that you can use to move data between different accounts, including uh, by going to privacy.apple.com. This is one place logging in and then using the tool called transfer a copy of your data. When you do this, it will work with a participating service. If it's, uh, if you're trying to take your Apple music playlists and move them to YouTube music, or trying to take your iCloud photos and videos and move them to Google photos, you'll log in with your Google account and you'll be able to move those things over. You will find that many of these services have some sort of data portability toolkit that will use these kinds of integrations. <clears throat> now that said, you've asked which of the three would I suggest using? I want to be honest with you. And the fact is none of those three are my, uh, online storage solution of choice. I have been a Dropbox user since I don't know, 2010 and continue to use it as my online storage solution for not only storing files, but sharing files with others and everything in between. That said, I have a Google Drive account, of course, that has some files in it. And I have an iCloud Drive account that has quite a few files in it. I am platform agnostic. I, I will use all the things. Um, I... Of the three that I would recommend, I think it's going to depend on, on what you hope to get out of your, your online storage solution. Are you primarily and nearly exclusively an Apple user? Do you have a Mac? Is that how you connect uh, via a PC? And by PC, I mean, in this case, a personal computer that is a Mac, not a Windows PC, but a Mac. Um, do you have an iPhone? Do you have an iPad? Do you have, or are you primarily accessing all of this stuff with your Apple devices? If that is the case, and you also are mostly sharing files or getting files from people who are also uh, Apple users primarily, if that is the case, then consolidating down to iCloud might actually save you some hassle and some money um, because of the way that iCloud storage is 
depending on the plan that you go with, kind of built in uh, at the system level and built into different plans like the iCloud Plus uh, options. If you are looking for something that's more universal, um, something that is widely supported um, and is kind of well known by people as well. So if they see a link from this that they're not going, okay, what do I do with this? Then that's where I think Google Drive would be the choice. Um, iDrive is the one that I personally would kind of take your stuff and move it somewhere else simply because the other two are more well known or more supported and having your files there also means that because it's big tech, the portability is going to be there so that you could move it to a different place if you chose to in the future. Now, if you were moving your files into iCloud, unfortunately, Google Takeout is going to be the way that you go about doing that. Um, if you're moving your files into Google Drive, then you can use Apple's data privacy tools to move your stuff into Google Drive. So it's a little bit simpler that way. Um, I wish that it didn't require the download locally transfer option. And that is also why I like Dropbox, because with Dropbox, I can just have Google uh, Drive or actually Google Takeout pop a folder into Dropbox and put all of my Google Takeout stuff into there. And so that makes it very simple. Um, I really like liked being able to do that. And so, yes, again, ultimately, Jason, to round it out, if you use a Windows machine, I do not at all recommend iCloud as your consolidated option. I'm going to recommend Google Drive for that. If you use a Mac and you, because you mentioned iCloud, so you clearly have at least one iOS device or iPad OS device, something from Apple. If you are kind of a multi-device household, Google Drive is still going to be my suggestion. But if you are primarily Apple and you regularly interact with people who are Apple, that's where iCloud would be my suggestion. In any of those cases, I'm going to recommend consolidating away from iDrive. Um, and I'm not going to suggest that you move everything that you have right now into Dropbox just because I use Dropbox. It's just that that's where I started. And so all of my habits are built around that. It's not that Dropbox is superior to any of these other options, although in some cases I feel it is, but that's beside the point. Um, you don't need to use Dropbox in place of these. It all comes down to what you plan to do with your files. I don't know why I'm suddenly getting this accent, but there it is. Whatever you plan to do with your files, Jason, you'll want to make sure you're using the right uh, storage solution for that. So yeah, ask yourself that question and then you've got your answer. And good luck <laughs> with uh, the data portability. My other little sort of tip there is you can always type in data portability Apple, data portability iDrive, data portability Google Drive into a search and it will typically take you to that um, kind of data toolkit that helps you transfer files over. 